Hello, welcome to another quick shaky cam video by Marcus. Um, another intermediate in the multi-copter series. Um, this time I'm showing you how I'm going to build it. It's unconventional, I know. Uh, it's not optimal even, I know. I just wanted to see if I could. Uh, most of you guys probably know these, these things. Uh, there's a price tag on it, but I can get them for nearly free, so... I had a couple of these, and I thought it was light and a very strong material, so I figured to try and build the major parts of the copter with it. Uh, because I've used, used this as a base, I can uh, solder directly to it, the power uh, circuits, etc. Because I'm uh, building that myself. So, um, But you might have noticed that this is not very strong in this area, well, strong but flexible. But we get to the next. Um, so what I did was I made diagrams like this. That way I could uh, take an entire board and cut four arms out of it. This is what an individual arm looks like. Quite useful, you can measure everything uh, and solder. If you're just uh, hobbying around like me, it's uh, good material. But like I said, it bends. So I needed some form of struts on the arms. Uh, First I thought of using this material as well, but uh, then I thought of something stronger and about the same. So, to keep in the spirit of the uh, theme, I had some old model birds and uh, cars laying around. So, I figured they would make nice struts. I cut into there, you'll see different levels because uh, it fits onto the board, as you will see in a second. And then a complete arm would look like this. It uh, looks uh, well, like a Frankencopter, although that name is already taken, so I think it will be MacGyver Copter or something. I <laughs> don't know if you know MacGyver, otherwise Google it. But this will give it a lot of stability. As you can see, I can wobble it around, uh, lift it on its arm, uh, it just keeps it together. The idea is that this then slides, oh, watch off the cables. Don't damage anything, Marcus. Well, the arms slide underneath the board. I'll put some screws here that locks everything together, and we have a pretty solid arm, I think. So I'm using the corners to solder. Uh, the bigger parts I can not use the middle parts because the other board runs underneath. Uh, there will be a line so I could. Uh, stuff thruff, stuff through it, but I think I will keep the middle just uh, for the connections. So, uh, that way, four arms, and we got a basic copter and platform. So, um, anything else I wanted to show? Well, alright, uh, transmitter, receiver was the final part, or well, major part. Uh, the ESC, I got four, motors, I got four, the props, I got six, need four, so that's extra. Uh, that's about it for this video. I uh, will com come with a video after this of uh, more uh, testing and configuration and hopefully soon the first flight test. So, thank you very much and bye bye.